In our high school geometry course, we might be asked to do a rotation. The first thing you do when you do a rotation is get your compass and open it so that the distance of the compass is the same as the distance between your zero dot and the closest vertex. I've done that here in this rotation with vertex A. Then I draw an arc in the direction of the rotation, which in this case is counterclockwise. And I just make sure that the arc I draw is more than the degree measure of the rotation. So I've drawn a 180 degree arc, which is more than the 165 I need. Now, I open my compass further, and I do the same thing with the second vertex. You don't have to draw a perfect arc, you just have to be able to see it. And then finally, I'm going to do the same thing with the third and last vertex. Now that that's done, I can put my compass away because I don't need it anymore for the rest of this process. The next thing to do is to get your protractor and, measure, and uh, line up the zero dot on the protractor onto the zero dot of the rotation and then make sure that the baseline of the protractor goes across the closest vertex the way this one is going across vertex A. Then, remembering that with a protractor, I always start counting up from zero. This means I have to use the inner numbers this time on this side of the protractor. And I'm going to measure the 165 degree arc I need. From zero, 165 is right here, so I put a dot, just to mark where it is. Then I use a straight edge, the edge of my protractor will do. I line up the zero dot of the rotation with the dot that I just drew. On the arc, arc that I drew from A, I have to put a dot that's directly in between the zero dot and the one that I drew when I measured. That is my A prime. Now I'm going to do the same thing with vertex B. I zero the protractor on the zero dot. This time the protractor isn't large enough for the baseline to go all the way across B, so I just have to aim it so that I know if it was long enough it would cross B. There's my zero baseline and it's aimed at B. Again, I draw a 165 degree arc, and this time, that's right about here. I make my dot look a little different so that I don't get it mixed up with the first one. I line up the straight edge between the zero dot of the rota rotation and the dot I just drew, and this time, further out, I can find my arc from B, which is this arc here. I put a dot. That's my B prime. I want to mark the A prime and the B prime right away because you end up with a lot of dots and you can get them mixed up. Finally, I'm going to do vertex Z. I have the zero dot of the protractor on the zero dot of the rotation. I aim the baseline at C. I measure 165 degrees, which is right about here. I line up the straight edge between the dot I drew and the zero dot. And then on arc C, which is right here, I create my vertex C prime. Now all I have to do is connect the dots and my rotation is finished. Even though this notation, which is for the next question, sort of got in the way, you can still see that I have drawn a 165 degree rotation of this shape ABC. It's landed on A prime, B prime, C prime.